Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing another chief architect tip and trick here. Um, I just have completed the existing conditions model of this little salt box um, home that we're going to be redesigning a um, master suite over the garage and a kitchen, little kitchen remodel as well. Um, so I've saved saved the existing conditions file. Then I did a file save as for my new file. So I have both. I can create an existing demo plan from one and the proposed plan from the other. However, on the proposed plan, it's nice to have um, it's nice to have your where the walls and windows and doors used to be in your plan. So I have set up in my template a existing plan layer set. When I change to my existing plan layer set that turns off everything except for walls, stairs, doors, windows, fireplaces, railings, um, you know, basic things that I want to see in my plan. So you've got different types of walls, right? The normal walls, the railing walls, um, foundation walls. Um, I've turned off attic walls and invisible walls, things like that. All right, from here, I'm going to go to my um, CAD tool menu, or in my toolbar, I've got it CAD detail from view. And what that's going to do is this view is going to create a CAD detail view. It looks the same, but these are just now CAD lines. I'm going to select all of them. Control C or Command C on your Mac. And I'm going to Control Alt V on a PC or Command Option V, V for Victor, on a Mac. That pastes and holds the exact same position um, for the objects that we just copied. Same position in our XY. Uh, coordinates. Command option V on my Mac here. Now don't do anything yet. Okay. You've just pasted a ton of lines, CAD lines, all over this drawing and you've got CAD lines on top of walls, stairs, doors, and windows. I'm going to open those 660 objects. I just saw, if I cancel this, you see I've got 660 objects currently selected in the lower left hand corner of my screen. I'm going to open those. I'm going to change that in my template again. I've got my CAD existing layer. Uh, I'm going to change it to bilayer color, bilayer style. So I've got gray, dashed, and bilayer line weight. All of these 660 objects are going to be now gray, dashed, and 18 inch, 18 uh, for line weight. I'm going to put them in the back group so that any walls or, or windows or doors are on, that I have in the plan is now on top of these CAD um, layers because I don't want my dash lines, my gray dash lines on top of my solid black walls. I want my solid black walls on top <clears throat> in the plan view. I'm gonna click OK. Now I can hit escape to deselect those 660 objects and it doesn't look a whole lot different, right? And that's all right. I'm gonna go do the same thing on second floor, CAD view to detail, copy, go back to plan, command option V, command E to open, change it to the CAD existing layer, by layer, by layer, by layer, back group. Okay. Now, when I go to my default set, right, I don't see them here. I can close these windows. I can actually delete them. Shift V pulls up my uh, 
CAD detail management dialog. I just have these two details. I don't need those anymore. Delete those. Save space. Save it. Now, here's the beautiful thing, right? I'm going to turn off some layers so we can see. going on. When I move this door, let's delete it. You see where the door used to be. When I let's say I, I move this wall, we're going to move this wall over here. Oops. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, CAD. Oh, it's not locked. I want to lock this layer because I don't want to change any any CAD lines actually. So that's my layer that I put all those those objects on, CAD objects. Now I've selected the wall. I can move it over here. And look, I can see where there used to be a door, there used to be a wall. And uh, I'm gonna change this wall in my my uh, Templates. I have existing walls and I have new walls for remodeling. That way, the you know the uh, contractor and the homeowner knows what stays and what's being changed, what's adding. This wall, actually, in this plan, we're going to delete. We're going to delete this door. We're going to you know move that kind of stuff. It's going to go here. This is going to be a closet. So you can see where it used to be, because that layer is locked, I can't select those CAD lines, but they remain there. Now there's CAD lines under this wall and under this, you know, under these doors and stuff, but because I moved them to the back group, I don't see those um, here, because my, my walls are on top of them, the black uh, solid lines of these walls are on top, or the the solid lines of this door or window, etc., are on top of the existing layer. So once I move it or delete it, then the existing CAD lines are um, exposed, and we see where where some object used to be in the existing conditions. All right. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.